Cross and Princess Anne do seem incredibly comfortable in each other's company, overly familiar for the role that they were in. You do get the impression that Anne was enjoying that attention, but also Cross was really quite distracted. He doesn't look like somebody who's there to protect her from a potential threat. He looks lost in the moment. Research shows that living in the midst of high conflict relationships can actually damage your health, shorten your lifespan, and it can even make your brain age faster. Appreciation and not becoming complacent is so important. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you've been together for a few years or you've been married for 30. The fact that that person's choosing to be with you is massive. So always appreciate them and their presence in your life and all that they bring to it. Emma Willis is in the hub with relationship expert Sam Owen to find out. Kim and Kanye, obviously, what, what, what does that tell you? I'm guessing as Kanye is a stylist that maybe it's a bit of insecurity he wants to say to the world, she's with me. Uh, and maybe embed that um, in her subconscious as well, that we're meant to be together. If you're on a virtual blind date, then you're both in the same boat. So just use it as a conversation starter and take it from there. There are all sorts of facts and figures flying around about relationships, but statistics can only ever tell us so much. That's why I'm hitting the streets of Manchester to find out more about Britain's relationship with love. What are the principles that you would share with others to keep a relationship going? It's not easy for anybody can adopt themselves to this kind of situation. I love that, Nigel, because what you're saying is that actually it's about compromise it and also about being a team, working yes. together as team a team. Together, yeah. Yeah. Words are so powerful, they're so emotive. So mm -hmm. he then tells himself, Prince William, well, I must do these things and his brain will find opportunities to make that reality and spot opportunities that he might otherwise miss. Research shows the brain builds new neural pathways when we do something for the first time and this applies whether we do it in real life or simply imagine ourselves doing it. Sam, we, uh, we introduce this by saying it's an age-old question, you know, the, the success to it. What's the success behind a long and happy relationship? Being a friend is really key because I think often people think that there should be an, an instant romantic spark between you. And it's just not always like that. And actually, when there is a friendship basis to your marriage, it means you just bring certain elements such as compassion, empathy. You know, research shows that our resilience is boosted by positive relationships in our life. Dating is a journey, so keep a positive outlook as you continue getting to know them. And if it doesn't work out, remember you're one step closer to finding your ideal match. We can then start accessing those emotions, start thinking about, well, what is it that I'm feeling? Why am I feeling that way? How would I rather feel? And what do I need to do to get there? On a date, you do want people to know good things about you, but do share them with humility because that's way more attractive. How you tell your partner that they can't have their family over for Christmas. <laughs> From a distance, <laughs> I would suggest. Yeah. Um, you know, it's about thinking who's been having a tough time this year, who's maybe a bit more isolated and could do with an extra bit of company. Your virtual date is already in your home, so use your backdrop to build intimacy by sharing something personal about yourself.